So, I need a small level that will act as a fighting tutorial. So taking inspiration from the game Mike Tyson Boxing, I want to create a ring slash gym environment. I started with a block out keeping the design simple as the ring will be the main focus. I textured everything up and tested it out to see how it feels. I added a few posters on the walls and placed a few props. It doesn't feel shady enough though, especially because an illegal prize fight will take place here. So I worked more on the atmosphere. The idea is to make the ring the main focus and everything outside of it coated in shade. Ironically, making it a shadier place. With the opponent modelled and textured, and the boxing outfit for the player sorted, they are ready for their showdown. The hype just isn't there. We need people around the ring that are actually watching the fight. I created these cheering silhouette models and placed them around the ring. I then worked on the scenario for the level, but I won't be showing this. In my last video, I created this motorbike garage environment. In this level, there will be a fight section in the car park area. I want to keep the player within this area zone. Something I'm not a huge fan of in video games is invisible walls. However, I understand the convenience of them, especially for a solo dev like me. I'm somewhat forced to use them mainly because creating a vast open environment that have creative ways to keep the player in the playable area would take so much time to achieve every time. So my hands are tied, but I will avoid them when possible. So I wanted to get creative when it comes to the invisible wall system. I don't just want an actual invisible wall. So I started with blocking out the bounds. Then I created a simple scrolling fog material by creating a gradient then I have a panning ripple texture on top of it. I then applied it to the bounds. It still needs improvement. So I implemented the function to only display the bounds if the player is within a certain radius. All in all, I'm quite happy with this system and I think it beats just having an invisible wall. What's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Now that the player is locked in this specific area, I need to make it more interesting. I created a bunch of new assets and placed them around. Now all that's left is enemies. Let me introduce you to the Ronnie Soldiers, a mean biker gang that likes to strong arm small businesses. The gang consists of many members. They're not so intimidating when you see them ride their bikes. Friggin' collision. I created two new weapon types because this gang likes to be packing. I created a knife. and a baseball bat. Lastly, I got help from my friend Pyra C. He helped me with an inventory system. He has an awesome channel where he posts devlogs in a very true to life way. 
It's an uncut casual watching experience. The link to his channel is in the description. The idea for the inventory system is to have something similar to Tomb Raider 3 with how the inventory items are rotating around a sphere. He started by getting a varying amount of objects spawning around a circle with equal distance between them. He then got the items to rotate and moved the camera to the next selected item. Also, the items have a description. I have oversimplified how much effort he put in to get this all working. He made it look easier than it was. We then got the inventory system working with my pickup system. And this is what I have now. I think it could be improved more visually, but I'm happy with it for now. But it would definitely go through some changes. So that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching. Quick shout out to my Patreon members. Ink Ribbon, Kevin, Emat of Asgard, Barely Functional, The PCX Box, Internet Rob, Angry Bear, Decades Apart Productions, Azraix, Pixel Pagos, and Tatty Gum Cancer. Thanks for watching.